dear friends, this is Jana from Bellatrix Star YouTube channel and I'm again here with Kathy with uh, Divine Debut 11 on Kathy's YouTube channel with a Love Weekly Tarot Predictions Tarot reading for you and I would like to say thank you again to my dear friend Kathy for this opportunity to uh, work also with her on her YouTube channel. Kathy, my dear, really thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And um, this beautiful collaboration that we are doing together with Kathy, so you can see a bit more different messages from me as well <clears throat> on this YouTube channel. But also you are more than welcome to visit my YouTube channel, Bellatrix Star. Okay, guys, so um, this video, um, I will do like in this way that will be two videos one video will be devoted to air sign and fire signs and to another video will be devoted to tarot predictions tarot readings to water signs and earth signs so let's start okay my friends, this is the video tarot predictions for your love life for this week from 15th till 21st of April 2019 for earth signs and water signs. And I will start with the earth signs and first that will be Taurus. So what will be interesting for you, my dear Taurus, for this week in your love life? Uh -huh. The main energy for you, it's the Ten of Wands. Interesting. It's kind of the end of heavy burdens. It's enough. It's very good card to just end whatever you were experiencing. And um, it seems like it was so heavy for you that you can't anymore, that you can't live in pain having these burdens on your shoulders or like carrying them those so you need to drop them off just to stop doing that and um, that will be the end yes position card is the knight of coins and no position card is the knight of wands and at the bottom of the deck we, ha we have king of wands so for some of you you are dealing with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius and it's quite passionate energy so also I feel that there is passion between two of you and yes yeah, Salamander, Salamander is here the fire is there and uh, this passion is not just passion it's also love it's from your heart and it's from the heart of your loved one or from another person significant one Okay, so I feel that this week will be quite passionate for you because even if there is no action, I feel that there is the passion that you have in your heart and uh, your loved one or a significant other, they also have that in their heart for you. It's beautiful to see we have knights, two knights, knights of coins and knight of wands. That means that you will not act spontaneously. You will not do anything that you're not sure of. It doesn't mean that you will not act at all. You will, because after you are ending kind of a pain and this carrying these heavy burdens in your love life, in your probably relationship, perhaps you will end the kind of a pain pain situation that was not pleasant for both of you because of this passion and love that you still have to towards each other or that you are just passionate about this so passion will save you you know that during this week you will be sure that you are passionate about a particular person but you will not act spontaneously and do crazy things because you will need you need to be really sure because you are the Taurus you need to be really sure what to do, what next step is to take, to make, to towards the goal, towards um, towards your happiness. Because it seems like you were carrying this uh, burden for a long time, for some time, and it was quite painful and heavy, and you were not happy about that. And it's time to end it and start doing something for yourself and for your loved one and move 
you both together into the brighter future. It seems like you burned your fingers before and you don't want that anymore. So that's why you're quite cautious this week. So if you take any step forward, you will take it easy. You will take it slowly, steady, slowly, but you will win the race for sure. This is about thinking, planning and start doing still because Knight of Wands in a no position, but it is still here. That means that action and here as well. So it means that action will be there because of the King of Wands still is there as well. So the action will be there quite a yeah, three cards of coin of uh, one. So passion is there. Passion will uh, will lead you, will push you f to make um, a step to do something about your love situation, about your love life, about your partner, or about a significant other. Because there is passion, there is love, and it's time to end what didn't make you happy, what doesn't make you happy, and stop carrying this burden. And it seems like you prefer to carry that not another person because that's your burden it seems like you were afraid of some kind of responsibilities or you uh, to take more so but you need to first you need first to drop this burden that you are carrying right now because they are too heavy and it's not yours anymore it's like you are exaggerating a lot of things you're thinking a lot about a lot of things that they are so heavy that you can't do that that it's too much responsibilities that it's too much things to do that you can't do that but in fact actually not really because this week you will have this clarity and you will drop this burden out of your life and you will feel because after ten of wands we have ace of wands and that's passionate beginning and again passion king of wands so you will feel that it's enough of carrying this burden it's enough of carrying those uh, illusional responsibilities or illusional difficulties yeah that's the word i was searching for difficulties like you were thinking as it should be that difficult or you went in um you made a decision you wanted to go into this difficult period of your life by yourself nobody asked you and you exaggerated that quite a lot and you thought that it's quite difficult to solve this problem with your loved one or to be with a loved one or to separate with a loved one so it's it can be different but for you it was kind of you you th you preferred the the most difficult way towards your happiness and only now you understand that it was the most difficult one that you actually shouldn't take it you shouldn't have taken that one because in fact it's not that difficult at all Yes, there are challenges. Yes, there are obstacles. Yes, there are difficulties, but they are not that huge or major that you can't overcome, that you can't deal with, that you can't manage. No, you can. You can manage. And it seems like you will understand this week that point and you will move towards your happiness in a bit another way, but slowly, because you don't want to rush the things. You don't want to... To make it you, actually with this card you don't want to be back you don't want to take it um, you don't want the same situation back you don't want the same relationship you don't want the same situation to repeat in your life so you want if you want the same person in your life you want it to have in a different way if you want the same relationship you want it to have in a different way if you want to have the same a love story to continue you want it to have in a different way now and you will start acting doing something about it moving this situation this relationship uh, being with this person or whatever like forward because this is the moment forward not backwards you are not going back to your past also for some of you it can mean really i feel that you know this person because the energy of fire is really prominent here and you already had it and you are ending something with the same person and you're starting something with this person too because i can't feel that it's something really brand new because these two knights are there but yeah for some of you i I'm, i may say that it can be a brand new person a brand new relationship but you will take it easy because you already burnt your finger so you know how it's painful can be how can it be yeah how painful it can be 
and um, moving forward yeah okay two scenarios or two groups of people for one for first one is the person that you already know and you don't want the same relationship to be back or to repeat them you want the same relationship the same person but to change something in your relationship with this person and to move to kick your relationship forward and not backwards not to the past but to the future another group of people that you you've been hurt by uh, before but you really still believe in something that there is something better in your life and you don't want to be back into your previous life previous relationship previous person like ex and you are moving forward ending with this pain with this burdens to carry and you are moving forward steady slow but you are doing that but again that's kind of a small group mm, for most of you it, it can be the same person because the king of wands i really feel that there is passion passion and love between two of you and you are kind of getting rid of a particular situation because you can't carry that anymore but at the same time you don't want uh, the repetition of the previous mistakes relationship whatever it can be and you are changing this situation acting moving forward pushing this relationship or this situation forward on the next level slow and steady what else do we need to know because there is passion that's why i feel that you know this person so it's not the new one because there is passion the king of uh, wands there is passion already there so it's kind of you knew the per you know this person and you knew before and the passion is just even growing but with a lot of other things around and yeah this is the karmic relationship that you have and you are moving forward with this person this is the ship new beginning pure love karmic love deep deep they are connected connection that you have it's from the past life connection that you have is uh, on a soul level very deep it can be twin flames it can be love um, soulmates but it's pure energy that is flowing between two of you that it's not in your you can't just separate you know you can't just cut it if for you in this lifetime it seems like it's not possible my dear Taurus people you can end some kind of burdens yes you can end some kind of pain and heavy things that you difficulties that you were carrying because you decided that don't know why um, but it seems this week you will understand that that it's enough to carry that it's not that difficult it, it the life should be easier it's all just because you wanted that to have these burdens but it's time to move on from these burdens and to take this person slowly yes but go forward because this is the connection that you just can't break very easily at all and with this ship you're moving forward i feel together with this person whom you're feeling um, passionate about and heart so this two connection like chakra second chakra and the fourth chakras are together definitely here i feel that you are becoming more active this week like you know kind of fishing what's going on there what should you do what you uh what you need to do further what's the next step to take yeah you are you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to do it's exactly about this ten of wands it's enough of these difficulties you decided that the life is so difficult but the life is not difficult at all if you prefer to see the light if you uh stop carrying those burdens that are not yours at all so recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to do you choose it only you 
Okay, my dear Taurus people, thank you very much. And then moving on to the next sign, next earth sign, and it is Virgo. Virgo, love life for this week from 15 till 21st of April 2019. Virgo. Virgo. The main energy for you, Virgo, is Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Yes position card is Knight of Cups. No position card is Eight of Coins. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. So the energy actually is about um, sacrifice and also go with the flow just let it go and surrender that's very important for you it seems like the situation is full of love and um, you know but you will have it seems like you will have this love only if you let it go if you let the sorry <clears throat> if the if you let the universe work behind the scenes and believe in that believe in love believe in kindness then the love will come knight of cups is a sudden offer that will make you happy but also i feel that it can be a message for some of you it seems like this week you don't need to do anything about your life about your love life it seems like you don't need to be active because eight of coins like hard work in a no position and knight of cups this is the offer that is coming to you perhaps for some of you it can be vice versa it's like you are making an offer to someone that can be the queen of cups it can be pisces scorpio or um cancer and uh, perhaps you're dealing with this person right that's your loved one this is another significant maybe they will make an offer to you and that will make you happy but also you can make the offer to them and they that will make them happy but also i feel that it's kind of a love message a very beautiful message that will make you happy that this is about like oh wow that's good that's great this can be a love letter and you know these two are looking at each other and the knight is really like a knight and the horse and she, and giving this cup to her and um, she's thinking she's very receptive here she's thinking she is just enjoying that and thinking what to do so it seems like maybe a gift is coming your way a good nice message that would make you happy and it seems like only because you let it go only because you don't do anything you don't act you don't work hard you don't invest too much it's like it's the opposite when you just let it go surrender to the energies that are playing around you not working hard not in, not putting or wasting your time money finances uh your energy you don't it's like okay i'm surrender i'm surrendering i'm letting the universe take its charge and do uh, and let it do whatever i need and i believe that everything that is coming this is the best for me so yes my dear virgo it seems like something really beautiful that is coming your way this uh week maybe it's just very beautiful news that will make you glad and um, also even a gesture of kindness you know uh, perhaps from the person you don't expect but also it can be that you know this person but definitely you are by yourself you're full of love this week you will feel it that love can win and will win that there is hope there is um, deep feeling within you that will drive you that will make your life more beautiful that there is love in on this planet earth and that's important for you what about sacrifice right i'm thinking that i'm feeling that sacrifice is mostly about um yeah i feel that it's quite difficult for you not to do something about that it's like 
if you put some effort in, into that, into the relationship, into the person, it seems like you will not get this beautiful result if you just let it go. If you let it go, surrender, you will see actually also the situation from a different perspective that you've never seen before. So some clarity will come about a particular person who will offer this cup for you. Maybe just a really pleasant gesture, maybe just a very nice message, a phone call, offer, as I said. Yeah, but it's all about, you know, the energy is really smooth here. Um, it's enough. That's your card, Virgo. It's eight of coins. It's like you're constantly working hard in your relationship. You're devoting yourself. You're doing, you're acting. It's time to let it go. It's time to enjoy whatever is coming your way and embrace whatever is coming your way because everything that is happening, it's all because of love, kindness, and um, yeah, deep feelings. Feelings are there. It's kind of also can be a declaration of feelings. Have a clover for you. Luck. Luck is on your side this week. And another is clouds. And at the bottom of the deck, the, um, the fox. So I feel that with this cloud energy, so what clarity do we have here? Something can be tricky. Something like you will not get all information about that offer, about that message. So perhaps that if there is a message or a phone call, you will not get everything that maybe you expected to have. Or maybe that will be some kind of uh, questions after that. So what was that about? Like, really? It's kind of questioning and looking back and checking. And um, that's in your nature maybe to not really trust it and not really believe in that and it's kind of too good to be true it's like oh really i'm so lucky that i'm getting that and it will be a challenging for you to trust actually it will be challenging for you not to dig deep or not to, not try to play detective um but yes with this clover actually the luck is there but it's your choice to get it to get into the dark space or into the light because you will have this tendency to look back and to check to not trust to have some proof so that will be your energy and that you will try to do actually during this week so the love oracle card that is telling what what is it that you need to know this is rest and relaxation is essential yes definitely stop stop fighting stop doing anything just relax we all have a fundamental need to take breaks guys it's definitely about you hangman surrender enough of negativity in your mind just relax do nothing let it be how it, it is like dream and relax neptune is there to help you to relax Okay, my dear Virgo people, thank you very much. And then moving on to the next Earth sign. And this is Capricorn. Capricorn. So what do we need to know for you, my dear Capricorn, for your love tarot reading, for your love week, love life in this week from 15 till 21st of April 2019. Capricorn. Okay, the main energy for you is the Hierophant. Yes, position card is the Death. No position card is the Seven of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune, I feel that there is help that is coming, there is support that is coming, and you will not be alone. But also, if you experience... Um, something really not pleasant not good in the previous weeks or just uh, yeah recently this will change this week so the you will feel that the energy is shifting in your favor and if it is shifting and uh, the help is coming the support is coming from the universe as the gift as a gift or from people who are around you that's very very important so it's kind of you will see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's 
a really important week for you, um, my dear friends, because that's about the higher fund, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, three of them out of four, and seven of cups is no position. So actually there is no choice to make because that will be the forces that will lead you and you will go also directly into your love life that you need to experience. And there is an, a major, an important change. So if you had some pain or some not pleasant situations in the past, there is change that is coming with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. This also can be the change in your status. That also that can be the change in your belief system and understanding what love means to you because of the death card. It means that some parts of your behavior in your love life relationship situations that will be dead, that will go away and that is because they are not longer serving you. Perhaps you are dealing with Scorpio or Taurus, but this is the, um, yeah, the ex of um, yeah, Taurus and Scorpio, they are partners actually, first and seventh house, but yeah, you can be dealing with one of them, but also it can be just the transformation that you are going through and transformation of your feelings or of your emotions of understanding um, of the word, even love, of this, um, what love means to you. And um, that, as I said, belief system, like this meaning, this fundamental things about love, about relationship, about trust, about respect, self-value, self that will be changed because some already is that. So some you don't need anymore. So some understanding, some uh, things that you thought was true for you for many many years maybe a weeks months at least that will they will be gone because you will understand that this is the time to change your uh, understanding of love because first of all you need to uh, to find love to, towards yourself and then you will have uh, the love towards the others towards others because seven of cups is like you will have any uh, any kind of options this week you will be dealing with this transformation and changing your understanding uh, quite deeply within yourself transforming your relationship transforming your love life into the better future you are going to the better future because will of fortune is helping you to change to make this shift in your love life that you will be happier so for some of you it can be literally that um, the change of the status so if you were married maybe you will become not married or will start the process something like that if you were not married maybe you will be or you will get married or for some of you it can be the case that you will start thinking about that you will get seriously into you will get seriously into the relationship maybe you were dating and you become uh, a couple right um, maybe it's a family life uh, that so kind of a part of your life system love life system it can be for example maybe you are pregnant now you will give a birth to a baby and you will become a mother so you will not be um, just one person anymore you will become kind of two right so you will have someone else in your life and maybe that will be even three of you like mother and father and your baby so it can be the case but also of course it can be the case that if you are not in a healthy relationship you will be also understanding that and you will start acting on that and changing your reality in order to be happy uh, because will of fortune will be shifting will be helping you because something is already not longer serving you it's already in the past and it's time to uh, change your fundamental values in order to become happier so this week is very important for you what else do we need to know my dear capricorn what else stability is coming your way um yeah issue of trust guys seven and also the wisdom uh, this card is about trust is about jealousy so perhaps if the relationship was about that so you need to think of course about that and you need to understand what is the problem within you 
and what you can change that is not longer serving you what you need to just say goodbye to a particular partner or particular like program in your uh, in your subconscious level that uh, is not longer serving you and it seems like you are uh, in order to stabilize your life you're searching for stable stability in your life life that's why you are changing you're going through this transformation um, because through this transformation the will of fortune will help you to be open to other opportunities that will be in the future but not this week yet so it's not the time for going and searching it's not the time for be open to the new opportunities in your life it's time to dig deeper within yourself and deal with your inner self with your inner world and change yourself within yourself then it will help you and that will give you wisdom so you are shading your skin guys this is the very plutonian scorpionic way that will change you that you will never be the same in your understandings about love about relationship and that will bring you um you know like i feel like you are you you're feeling liberated you will be feeling liberated you will feel free out of this from this burdens and boundaries that you were not healthy and you needed to carry that because of maybe even uh, past life karma or something like that so it's quite significant week for you my dear uh, capricorn right so um let's see what's the oracle card for you and this is the union of hearts there is connection of love that defies explanations explanation the union of hearts there is a connection of love that defies explanation i will leave it like that because this is your guidance and i mean that i feel that if it is supposed to be so that will be like that trust the process of the creativity of the universe thank you my dear capricorn and now i'm moving on to the next now water sign and that will be cancer so let's see weekly love predictions for cancer from 15 till 21st of april 2019 cancer your love life okay the main energy for you is the moon your card you are connected to yourself you are back on track in your love life that's beautiful it seems like i feel that you are happy emotionally the week is really interesting and amazing for you you feel like you are living your own element going through and experiencing your in a power a uh, ten of coins that's the family card as well and this is the yes position card no position is the magician so nothing new is coming your way <laughs> and it seems like it's good three okay the empress wow cancer what a beautiful week you have the empress is the growth it's the motherhood it's like and the moon is also femininity it's like feminine energy is so profound and it doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman so family issues will be so amazing and profound and the key for you ten of coins yes we have the ten of coins here but not the ace right or the magician is in no position but it doesn't mean that you will not start anything new. you will not start anything brand new because it's time to enjoy what you have and that's important that's brilliant i love that so you will be enjoying the this week is devoted to your family to understanding what the family is for you this week is devoted to being a parent if you have children or being a son or a daughter if you have parents and it's great you know to communicate with them to pay attention to small details to uh, like show your love to them but also of course to your partner to the loved one so because the loved one love life is not just only a sexual attraction or just a person but also of course all people that whom you love with the ten of coins it's 
abundance and that you appreciate so it's about appreciation uh, the moon card is about your intuition and you are in contact with with your intuition you are really feeling yourself well and it's not time as i said to manifest something new to start something new because it's time just to live in this energy of feeling of being compassionate of being supportive of being kind of support uh, to support someone who need who needs your support to give your energy to give your care love to another person this is the week full of love abundance and Mm, growth i feel that during this week you will feel that your love is growing to a particular person or yeah as i said can be a very close friend as well yeah can be a parent a child and a, and a partner and i feel that yes for some of you the empress if you want to have a child perhaps that's a good idea to try this time because of moon card and this the ten of coins so it's quite feminine energy is really profound here feminine energy is really profound and really important and you can use it you can use it in your favor of course and also it seems like perhaps the challenges can be with the, you within you considering like maybe you will doubt some things and i feel that you can doubt yourself as being a father as being a mother maybe that will be some issues uh in your family situation that you will have some fears and maybe some doubts that um, mm, that maybe you need to make a, a, a decision or you need to say something like a, an important talk or an important action towards your uh, family member or towards your loved one and you are not you will not be sure what is the right one but just let your intuition lead you and uh, uh, behave and do something from the position of a parent even if it is your partner I mean that if they need your support and care please show that support and care to them share your feelings share your emotions because it's about growth through this communication through this supportive energy through this care uh, your doubts will be gone and your fears also will be gone because you will feel this connection between two of you very deep and uh, connection and it's definitely like yeah it, it 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 is about something profound and fundamental that's important for you and for your loved one so if it is family and if you are dealing with any kind of challenges that are happening in your at your home in your at home so I feel that through your intuition, you will find a lot of answers, but also behave uh, from the parent perspective. And then you will be able to manage because still there is support there. And of course, there are a lot of love. It's very, very nice, you know, like fresh energy and beautiful one. With the moon, it's a bit fresh, like I'm saying it's cold, but not cold in a really pleasant way. So it's not the um, it's not very active uh, week for you, my dear Cancer. It's more about kind of accept the love, make love, um, support, sharing your feelings, emotions. You know, kind of living in this a bit dreamy world, but it's so sweet and so lovely. And we need to know a bit more things, right? And this is the end of the distance yes okay and the letter so if you had any kind of distance or detachment kind of emotional coldness between two of you or between a particular person and you this is the week that you can change the situation you can change this distance between two of you or between uh, a loved one and you or a significant other and you so it's time to kind of the end the distance the end the coldness and being alone it seems that during this week you will understand that you are not alone at all you thought that you are alone and maybe you feel you felt lonely lonely but this week it's about care support love and you will understand that you are not alone and that will be a message that is coming to you that's a significant one that will bring you some good news but also it can be just communication or yeah phone call can be uh, from your loved one or from the person who is far away that will give you some 
warm energy. So it's the end of loneliness. It's the end of, of feeling cold and uh, lonely. Yes, and it's time to to dig into this warm energy too. Yes, this is the fears about that it will end and you will be alone again. But of course, it depends on you. Just the universe will show you. They will give you the situation that will show to you that you are not alone at all. And it's your choice to go into this warmth or to go into this coldness. But I really like that it's the end of loneliness. It's the end of distance, of this, uh, this uh, emotional detachment. And the love oracle for you. What do we have? And this is, I love you. These are very important words. Another sign I remember I had it too, but it's like, you are not alone. You are guided, you are protected. And there is love in your life. You just need to open your eyes and see that. Open your heart and feel it. And maybe it's time to say some to someone these beautiful words that you will say to someone else. That's sweet. Okay, so this is it for you, my dear Cancer. And we continue and moving on to next water sign, and that will be Scorpio. 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 The love life for the week of from 15th of april till 21st of april 2019 scorpio the main the main energy for you is seven of wands open oh, another one the tower card okay i will put it here together with the same with the seven of wands wow Okay, you guys, what, what will be interesting for you during this week in your love life? It's like sudden events, sudden passionate events that that will you will not expect at all, and it will bring you in a defensive position that you will need to defend your heart, to speak your truth. Actually, maybe in a very passionate way to someone. You need to. Okay, Ace of Coins is like yes position card, and no position. Uh, that one ace of swords and the ten of coins is the overall energy the general energy so it's about family it's about union it's about appreciation what you have and it's a really happy it's abundant the card is is about abundance that is and it, it is stability so it seems like this week you will feel this stability within you or with your in your family situation or with your partner that will be really interesting because the, the ten of coins is speaking about stability but also a particular part of something important will be ended for you because ace of coins is here as in a yes position so something will drastically change will be changed considering your love life so it's an amazing sudden shift that will put you in a defensive position uh, through this shift that will be a new start that will long that will that will last that will stay f with you in your life for a long time with the ace of swords in a no position that means that will not be a lot of clarity but it will be a, it, oh sorry it's like my my uh, <laughs> too much talking today <laughs> sorry guys about that so it seems like it will be a lot of passion, but this passion and drastic change, sudden events will bring you stability in your love life. It's like the beginning of something that will stay, that will bring you family stability. Yes, that will stay and that, that will be a family. Um, that's about home. That's about abundance, comfort also you know like financial stability for your family um it seems like 
through this tower that sudden event that will occur in the, during this week that you will not expect at all you will need to speak your truth in a very passionate way i can't say that it will be a fight but it will be kind of you need to, you will need to defend your point of view considering your emotions and feelings what you feel mostly like feelings and that will bring you this new start of your relationship or just leveling up your relationship your love life and but it will still have you will have some a bit of confusion not so much clarity that will be a bit later that you will get a bit later um, but also you know they will be some st still you will have some topics that you need to discuss but a bit later so they you will not discuss everything or you will not um, speak about everything during this week that you wanted to speak because of the sudden event but it seems like the passion is much more important the family the bond that you have is much more important for you or for this the situation that will occur than uh, talking you know because it seems like again I don't feel that um, with this ace of swords um, he is holding the sword that in that position so I mean it means that that will not be really tough fights verbal arguments so you will be able to carry about each other through this communication and you will find the right words you will find the right gesture or even you know it's more about hugs about cuddling you know than speaking it's more about expressing your feelings uh, deep heart deep heart feelings that you feel towards each other and they are quite stable there there and that will bring you new start and stability so in your love life in your relationship so that will not be you will not have any place for these harsh arguments it's it seems like it's enough of these arguments of these verbal fights it's time to to express the passion it's time to express what you really feel towards each other and it will be very passionate and very sudden event like this communication or meeting or uh, family situation whatever it can be this event will be really uh, like a sudden thing for you you know you can't expect that but that's why you will be kind of in defensive mood because you will not know how to re react on that there will be quite a lot of a lot of feelings that you will have about this particular event that will happen and you will be like oh wow what should i say what i should what should i do it's quite a lot it's too much and yeah and through that through these feelings it's even passionate hug or passionate visit or passionate talk uh then you, that will bring you this new start that will last in your life and that's in, that's include your family that can be that can include your family or maybe children if you have children or your partner have has children so yeah this is the family situation that is stable it means like it was there and it's still there and um, that's a, that event will shake everything up and uh, yeah it will be a so, oh, wow it will be sudden so okay let's see what else we should know about that love life that's quite passion tweak that will change your love life that will change your relationship and you will start the new one you will start the new level or the stability will come i mean through this sudden change through this like uranus is playing the games it's games with you and your partner uh, you can be dealing with the uh, uh, earth sign Virgo Capricorn or Taurus the book is there so yes some things will be still I know unknown for you and this new path that you will start that will be also unknown but you will take kind of a risk but slowly getting into this um, new thing ah, again it's 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 fated with this cross it's fated events and maybe you will not understand what's actually 
what will be going on because it's it's the fate that will be there this is the destiny that is calling you and um, this is the chance that you need to grab that is coming your way that is coming and uh, offering by the universe it's kind of a great opportunity uh, with this ace of coins that it's better of course to grab because this also only one life one time in your lifetime can be there for you yes you will not know everything not on not all details but i think that it's okay because maybe you don't need to know everything because your connection uh, with this person is twin flame of or soulmate very very deep uh, not known in a particular details or in all detail details and um, this is the anchor and again the stability there's something that is coming your way through this sudden event that will stay for your family with your family in your life life that will stay in the future this stability emotional stability as well love that will last again that will be not known everything that everything will not be known but that's fine okay the love card for you okay <laughs> one or two two you're lucky scorpio so first one spend some quality time together it is imperative that we spend quality time with those we have significant relationships with listening and talking to each other so for some of you it can be literally um meeting uh spending time together that will be accidentally oh accidentally sorry i'm just mixing up these words suddenly that will be suddenly maybe you will get the invitation to meet someone or it will be the person that will visit you or just um yeah the the person will do something that will cause this spending time together and be in the be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible so dream big if you want something big so dream big so that means that also i feel that the dreams are coming true what you have been expected and what you were dreaming about that is coming true in your life this week because of this sudden change uh, yeah and a very important one dreams are coming true and you will spend some time together beautiful scorpios okay this is it for you and uh, i'm moving on to pisces the third water sign pisces uh, what will be there interesting for you my dear pisces for this week in your love life 15th till 21st of april 2019 pisces Our main energy for you is seven of coins uh, the yes position card the star and the no position card is the high priestess and nine of coins is the general energy so the energy is really comfortable for you and this card is about abundance and enjoying the everyday life with your loved ones it's just with yourself as well so it's very beautiful energy to enjoy what's going on around you to be comfortable with yourself to be comfortable with the people who are around you and also paying attention to the details because these beautiful small details will give you a lot of pleasures so yeah that's actually the guidance for you as well if you want to be happy pay attention to the small details and enjoy them because life is the small details right seven of coins and the star card so it seems like you will be working quite hard during this week um, in order to make your dream come true but the universe will help you to make it true so it will be a lot of clarity for you during this week the high priestess is in no position so that means that no secrets no more secrets for you and the star card there is hope and faith that everything will work in your favor <clears throat> the star card is the wish fulfillment card so but also in this uh, deck it's about hope and faith that you will have this hope and faith because you will be 
investing in your love in the love relationship maybe in your partner you will do something important for them you will show your love your attention and that that will be rewarded because seven of coins is putting the effort and getting the rewards for that but of course yes it's kind of not wasting time but investing your time right into the right person into the right love, love situation and that will make you feel happy feel um you will have the hope and faith that yes the dream will come true because you're working in your relationship the person will be really happy with that you know or maybe that's that can be vice versa someone uh will be um will invest in you someone will the loved one will help you will support you will give you their attention and um, will put the effort to do something for you that will make you feel that yes there is a chance that everything will be fine that there is a hope yes that everything will be fine so the clarity will come but yes it's hard work actually to invest your time your energy um, in your significant other because relationship is not just only going with the flow but also a bit of work as well and nine of coins that will make you kind of the guidance and helping card and the energy of this week that yes you will be working hard you will put your effort into this relationship into this love situation or into uh, like improving your love situation improving your love life like investing in yourself if you're for example single but just in yourself too because self-love is the first priority and like you know uh, going to the beautician enjoying facial enjoying uh small things around like walking in the park with your loved one or alone just um he uh, hearing and listening to the songs of the birds and enjoying the sounds you know enjoying the sounds of uh, the water of the ocean of the sea you know all these small things and if for example you investing the time and things in um in yourself or in your relationship in your love situation depends on your story that will bring you happiness and feel kind of that you're blessed having these people in your life having yourself uh, in your life yes with yourself that is really beautiful because I feel that with the star card the wishes are really coming true for you and the most important thing that you will have your um, hope hope for the better hope for the happiness for true love that it is there for you and in your life if you haven't fi find found it yet you will find it in the future but yes it's about like also um, small gifts small things that you can um, give to your loved one or show like for example a small talk um, saying that you love them or that is how precious they are in your life that will re re really will be really that will be really <laughs> helpful for both of you to like to keep this level of trust in your relationship because the star also is about trust but only when you both mutually are involved in that and putting the effort and doing something together so it's it will be kind of a quality um, time together but also having this trust and uh, faith and the book and the man and the choice that you will need to make so it seems like you will know still yes uh, the high priestess is in no position so the clarity is there but still you will not have some information about a particular man maybe this is your partner or you will not give all the information to your partner to another person if you are the man um, so you will prefer not to open uh, your heart or your everything about you to another person you will not tell everything about you so you would prefer to do that step by step slowly but also there is a choice to make considering your love situation considering this man it seems or maybe if you are the man so about you about yourself so you will be uh thinking what what is better for you uh if you need for example to tell something to another person but also i feel that this is the question of trust with the star card 
and hope because it seems like you need this um, that you are both mutually involved in the relationship and investing your time um, love into this relationship so then uh, even you know with these two cards it's something like even if you don't know everything about another person doesn't mean that you can't trust them right so it's about trust and it's about believing that you that trust exists in your life too and uh, also it can be a question for you still with these uh, two doors that the choice to make is up to you if you want to trust this person or not or if you want to invest in this relationship more and continue doing that or not if you hope for something better for another person or if you hope to continue this relationship with this person or if you hope to solve the particular love situation with this person because you will still kind of you will not give up you will continue investing into this person or into this relationship but still there is a chance that you will need to make a decision about to trust or not to trust to continue or not to continue uh, with this clarity this information that you will have but still some things you will not know but it seems like you know it doesn't mean that it can change anything that you don't know a particular thing um yeah something like that that i feel but with small details, small details will give you the key, will open up, um, will open quite a lot of information and things to you that you need to know, because this is also the Virgo card. And maybe perhaps you will not even want to know a lot. So it will be enough. Yeah, I feel like something like that. It will be enough information for you to make the right decision to move on with this person or not to invest more or to keep doing to keep investing to keep putting your efforts into this relationship into this person more or not so that will the clarity will come this week for you okay and the love oracle card for you is romance lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection right <laughs> guidance is saying like this card is saying lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection show that to them make it clear to them beautiful okay guys thank you very much this is it for you and for all the signs um, so i hope that you enjoy that and uh, if you like it please like and share and of course comment below what's going on in your life how um, does it resonate with your life it can be just one sentence a few messages uh, can be less or more it depends on your story of course and uh, depends on your personality and who you really are and your intuition as well but i'm very happy to be here with you and uh, present these messages to you and i wish you all the best um good luck love and blessings to you and see you next time bye bye